An attack on a prominent Virginia politician is raising questions this morning about emergency care for people who are mentally ill. Advocates say too many patients are not getting help when they desperately need it. Jan Crawford is in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie. Nora Cree Deeds is a well-known state senator in Virginia, and this morning he is in the hospital recovering after police say he was apparently stabbed by his son, who reportedly was turned away from mental health treatment just a day before. I'm Cree Deeds. I was raised here and never left. In Virginia, Cree Deeds is a familiar face, a state senator for 12 years. And in 2009, a candidate for governor endorsed by President Obama. Cree has been there for the people of Virginia. During that campaign, this was a frequent image. Deeds with his only son, Gus. But on Tuesday, police say inside the family home, the 55-year-old father was attacked, stabbed multiple times, apparently by his 24-year-old son. Gus was found dead of what police suspect was a self-inflicted gunshot. We are looking into this as an attempted murder and suicide. Gus had been a student at the College of William and Mary, but in a statement, the school confirmed he withdrew last month. According to multiple newspaper reports, he was under an emergency custody order on Monday that required a mental health evaluation and was released because there wasn't a psychiatric bed available in Western Virginia. Doris Fuller is an executive director of the Treatment Advocacy Center, an organization that supports people with severe mental illness like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. We're not surprised because there aren't enough beds anywhere. A recent report from her group found that Virginia has a dire shortage of psychiatric beds, only enough to meet about a third of its need, a problem that is not unique to Virginia. The report shows over a five-year period, the number of psychiatric beds across the country dropped 14 percent. The fact of the matter is, things like this happen every single day all over America, and we just don't hear about them. Now, a Virginia state delegate who spent the day uh, with the family at the hospital said that Senator Deeds was very close to Gus and Charlie and Nora. He said that he had taken Herculean efforts to help him recover over the years.